Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create a unit test for the service. Actually, this is the second part of the video. In the first one, I create the unit test for the controller. Again, the project is a simple project that has a controller, a service, and a repository. And now we focus on the business logic. So let's check the code. The service looks like this. Uh, we annotate with service, uh, well, implements an interface. We outer wired uh, the repository. I'm gonna explain you in detail these two methods: find bad ID and create. So, because in the in the service uh, test, we care about the, the logic behind that. So we we check the code. In find bad ID, it's like a, if it's null, the user I throw an exception: user not found. And when we create, I check first the the email. I, f I want to find the user by email. If it already exists, I throw a, an exception as well. So let's check the unit tests now. Uh, in the other one, I created with a Spring Runner. Now I'm gonna use Run with Mokito J Unit Runner. So uh, here we can see my static variables. And the modes. So we want to test the user service. So we create a user repository mock, and to our service we inject uh, these mocks. So that's why we our real uh, user service implementation we inject the mock, the repository mock. Um, in the before, so I create my user doc. So I'm gonna use this uh, user in all my tests. So I'm gonna explain you, for uh, for example, this test. Find one and user exists. So we prepare the the, the data. So we put uh, uh, mokito when uh, in the repo the method find one find one. It's called with the user one key. Return this user actually user one and with the other information. Here we perform the method call. So we call the real service find by ID, uh, passing the user one ID, and we expect that uh, the user is not null, and the repo, the find one method is called was called one time uh, with any string, and also we verify that there are no more interaction in the repo. So because this uh, service just goes once to the database. So we have other tests, for example, when the user does not exist, so we get null. So in the data preparation, we have a mokito when find one with the user one and then return null. So we call our service, the real method, find by ID, passing that user ID, and we expect null in the user. We expect that the repo was called one, uh, one time and there are no more interactions. But in this case, we expect an exception. That's why we annotate our test with uh, expected equal API exception. As you might see here, it's like uh, if it's null, we throw an exception. Uh, well, the, the creation, it's almost the same because let's say, let's check. Create user and the user already exists. So we pass the email, an email, and we return a user doc. This is how we prepare the data. We call the create, but we expect that the method in the repo find by email was called once. Um, we can analyze this. For example, we can still uh, we can use a uh, handcrest matcher as well. For example, in find user by nickname, and the user exists. So we prepare the data that when they call this. Uh, service find user with nickname uh, we return a list of users so we call the the service find users by nickname we put any nickname and we expect that the list is three because here are three user docs and that's all thank you